Do you guys think that Blair White is purposely disingenuous? Or do you think it's that she's just the world's worst researcher? Or maybe it's that she is just a terribly lazy content producer. Hello and welcome back to Medium Rare. My name is Rag Reynolds and today we are talking about YouTuber Blair White who has recently just dipped under a million subscribers. She had over a million now she is slowly making her way down the numbers because, oh boy, she has been outed for blatant lies and slander against someone else. We have a few things to unpack here today, folks, but we're going to start out with Blair's most recent controversy relating to trans athlete Janae Marie Kroc. So about three or four weeks ago, Blair White posted a video to her YouTube channel that got 400,000 views. And this video was all about how certain trans athletes would take advantage of their situations. For example, you would have a trans woman who's a man that transitions to being a woman and then goes and competes with the women. Now, obviously not all trans athletes actually do this, but Blair made a video Video talking about the issue she had with the ones that do, saying that she thinks it's immoral and that it's cheating and all this other stuff. And honestly, I agree with her on that. I agree that these people have a biological advantage over other people and it's kind of unfair to put them in there, especially if it comes to something like boxing or some sort of combat sport, something physical with someone else, then someone can end up getting seriously hurt. Anyway, opinions on that aside, the issue with this video was that Janae Marie Kroc, someone that Blair White called out in this video, take a look. The idea, the concept of Janae competing against biological women is ludicrous. It's almost intentionally ignorant. And anyone who thinks that that is some sort of level playing field is a liar. <laughs> you're lying to her, you're lying to others, and you're lying to yourself, sweetie. The idea that Janae, who transitioned well into her adulthood and developed completely male, can now compete against women is bad. It's a bad idea. It's a failed idea. Well, it turns out that Janae has actually never competed against women in the women's divisions of any sport. Never since she has transitioned. Yet Blair White was making out otherwise in her video. This led to a lot of backlash for Blair White, which led her to make this statement on her Twitter account. I'm sorry. Hey everyone, in a recent video I made the error of assuming and stating that a trans athlete named Janae competes against both men and women in her sport. As she made clear, that is false. Unlike many other trans athletes, she insists on only competing against men. For this and any other detail I got wrong about her story, I'm very sorry. I made the mistake of not doing enough research and taking rumours about her at face value, which is something I complain about happening to me. I want to be very clear that this was a fuck up on my part and I take full and total responsibility for any negativity that she's experienced because of that. I also want to be clear that while there are many running with the narrative that it was just an intentional deception on my part, that's just not true. It was due to less than thorough research, nothing more and nothing less. I've reached out personally to apologise for the error and have deleted the video. I feel pretty terrible and have decided to take a break from social media and YouTube. The grind of doing content for almost five years and putting immense pressure on myself to constantly release things have resulted in me being sloppy with this last video, and I don't want to come back to doing videos until I can guarantee this type of mistake doesn't happen again. I hope everyone understands where I'm coming from with this, and once again, I offer my sincerest apology to Janae above everything else. I have also offered to send Janae the AdSense money I made on the video, and I'm awaiting her acceptance of that. It only seems fair. And now this apology has not been good enough for many, many people, myself included, because this apology is the typical sort of apology that all YouTubers do. Rather than actually posting an apology on her YouTube channel where she actually put out the misinformation, Blair put the apology on her Twitter account. It also took her many, many weeks to actually put out this apology. This wasn't something she did quickly, this was something she waited a long time to then do before she actually took down her video. And now in this apology, Blair also points to poor research being the reason for why her video had the false information in it. And poor research? Yeah, you could say that. Poor research, either that or blatant lies and slander. Because here's a screenshot of Blair White's video where she's actually showing a screenshot of Janae's Instagram post, okay? But the thing is, folks, here's another screenshot of that very same Instagram post. If you scroll down the text on the right hand side, if you scroll down the text, you can see that underneath where Blair had cut off in her screenshot, further down, Janae actually says in this Instagram post 
that she has never competed against women since transitioning. Blair White literally used this exact same post in her video as some sort of proof that Janae did compete against women. Blair White used this exact same post to illustrate her point, to expose Janae. When in reality, if Blair had just read further down, if she had just read the entire post that she was putting into her video, she would have known. And so here it comes down to one of two things. Either Blair genuinely did not read that entire post, in which case she is a piss poor researcher. Absolutely terrible, no excuse. She is a terrible, terrible researcher and content producer. Either that, or she purposely lied and manipulated the facts just to try and make content. And now you might think, okay, maybe it was just poor research. Maybe you want to give Blair the benefit of the doubt. But then you have to remember, this isn't actually the first time that Blair White has done something like this. Let's rewind months back to this whole Davy Vanity, Jeffree Star drama. I'm now going to play you a clip courtesy of Tamimi. It's just disgusting. We're going to go to a charity supporting art. I've got some new music coming your way. I know a charity supporting art. Um, the first charity that we're going to be helping out is an organization called Swan. Clipped it out and made it seem like, wow, Jeffree Star is this hero for saying something about Davi Vanity and never mentioned the fact that he had retracted his statements. About Davy, Jeffree says, I'm going to speak the truth till I die. We saw Davy bring underage girls to his hotel room and do sexual things. 100% illegal. And this is after touring together, doing music together. I personally went to a couple of these tours when I was a kid, probably 15 years old. And Jeffree says, I no longer support Davy Vanity and how disgusting he is, touching and enjoying attention is evil. Lots to go. Being on tour with a child has made me see the truth. I regret ever doing a song with that pig. Rest in peace because you'll never be me. If you support that piece of shit, then unfollow me because you're supporting child Davey is the lowest worthless scum I've ever met. Now listen. This person, which first of all, never trusts, I think are very interested, and I noticed it in the chat as well, so I want to kind of speak for them and ask mm -hmm. this, and I think Jay could really speak to this, or maybe not, I don't know. Um, but the Jeffree Star aspect of this story, and I touched on it in my video, and, um, but I didn't have all the facts and people kind of corrected me and said, you know, when Jeffree Star tweeted what he tweeted about um, Dobby being a pedophile, Jeffree worked with him afterwards, which shocked me. I thought it was, you know, Jeffree worked with him and then tweeted that and then it was over. What do you mean you didn't have all of the facts? They were right there, 20 seconds into the video of mine that you downloaded for your video. So if you didn't understand what was going on in that clip, allow me to explain. Blair White made a video about Davy Vanity and Jeffree Star. And in this Davy Vanity video, she was basically applauding Jeffree for disavowing Davy Vanity. Conveniently though, Blair decided to leave out the fact that after disavowing Davy, Jeffree actually went on to still work with the guy, still go on tour with him, still do this with him. But Blair left that out. And in a live stream she did later on, she said she never realized that was the case and she didn't know and she never had the facts available and that's why she didn't know. But, 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 that isn't quite true either though, is it Blair? Because you know, the video that Blair made originally about Davy Vanity and where she applauded Jeffree Star, she actually used a clip in this video. She used a clip and that clip came directly from a video made by Timimi. And in this video by Tamimi, only 20 seconds into the video, Tamimi gives the information. Tamimi gives the proof that Jeffree Star was working with Davy Vanity after disavowing him. So yet again, you have another example of Blair White either doing entirely piss poor research or being purposely disingenuous. And you start to notice a pattern of behavior emerging here. And even then you might think, okay, let's give Blair the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she's just a bad researcher. Well, now I'm going to tell you a little story that I've kept under wraps. And it's about my experience with Blair White. And this isn't something I wanted to bring up because I thought it, it's not very important in the grand scheme of things. But I think now this relates a bit better into what else is going on. It maybe helps paint a bigger picture about what's going on with Blair White. So about a year ago, when all this Onision Chris Hansen stuff was going on, when Sarah first came out with accusations against Onision saying that he had groomed her, Blair White 
reached out to me on Twitter. I had made a video on this situation and it went quite well. I got a decent amount of views and obviously Blair White had seen my video. So I'm out on a Sunday afternoon having dinner with my family in a restaurant and I get a message on Twitter. I get a notification and I check it. I've only got maybe a couple of thousand subscribers at this point. I check my phone and Blair White just followed me. I'm like, wow, Blair White just followed me? Oh, and now she sent me a tweet as well saying, check DMs, please. I'm like, wow, that that's that's amazing. I'll, I've, I've always been a fan of Blair White. I don't always agree with what she has to say, but I've always quite liked Blair White. And I'm thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. I'm just this tiny little YouTuber and Blair White is asking me to check my DMs and she just followed me. Oh, sure, I'll do that. So I check my DMs and I'll show you this initial DM from Blair just to show you that I'm not talking a lot of crap here. This is the message she sent me originally. I'm not going to be showing any more just for the sake of privacy and I don't want to start leaking loads of DMs, but this is just to confirm she did actually message me. And as you can see here, she says that basically she would like me to help her give a little, get a little synopsis about what's going on with Onision and bring her up to speed. She thinks things are a little bit too scattered and yada yada. Anyway, she says that if I help her out and give her a little synopsis rundown and answer her questions, she in return will promo my channel in her YouTube video she's making about Onision and Sarah. So I'm sitting there having dinner and I'm thinking, wow. This YouTuber, this big YouTuber, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, almost a million subscribers, is going to promo my tiny little 2,000 subscriber channel if I help her out here with this story. And it's some, and it's a YouTuber I actually like as well. So I thought, great, I'm, I'm definitely going to do this. So I, ex I say sorry to my family, I excuse myself, and I spend maybe the next 50 minutes writing up a long synopsis, as detailed as I possibly can, and I sent it to Blair. And she also had a few other questions. She went back and forth. It was a little bit strange because I'm not convinced she actually read my entire synopsis because she did, uh, she kept asking me questions that I had actually already answered in my synopsis. So maybe the poor research thing might be a little bit credible. But anyway, I answered all her questions. She asked me for other screenshots. I went and got her the screenshots. I sent her some screenshots. And maybe just an hour or an hour and a half after we had started the conversation, it was over. We went our separate ways. She was making the video in the next day or two. Great. I'm sitting around. I'm telling people I know. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a shout out in a Blair White video. I helped Blair out with this video. That's really cool. And everyone's all excited for me. So the Blair White video comes around which now has one and a half million views, the video comes around and I'm sitting there in front of my uh, computer monitor, I'm glued to the screen like, oh boy, I'm excited to hear my little shout out, I'm also excited to watch this video. I watch through the video and I'm like, huh, there was no shout out, no credit. I'm like, that's not a big deal, she must have put me in the description down below. So I scroll down and I look at the description of the video and, wait a minute, what, no, no credit there either? How about the pinned comment? Oh no. No pinned comment either, and personally, I would have been happy with the description or the pinned comment. It didn't have to be in the video, but I got no credit at all. Absolutely zilch. And I'll say right now, I was incredibly disappointed, and I lost a lot of respect for Blair White at that moment. I had a lot of people tell me that, oh, you should make a video about this and try and do that, and I'm like, no, I don't want to make it into a big thing. I thought that maybe I was just being a little bit petty over it, but now when I look back, I don't think, I think Blair White genuinely was just being incredibly shitty of a person. She told me she would credit me for my help, I helped her, and I got no credit. And this is a YouTuber who was approaching a million subscribers. This is a big YouTuber that a lot of people look up to and respect. And then after that is when I start seeing stories about this Jeffree Star thing, where she clearly has done some really poor research about Jeffree Star and his involvement with Davi Vanity. And then we come to this news story with Janae. And again, Another poor research excuse. And it's hard to know here, is this poor research? Or is Blair White just a liar? Because I genuinely don't know what to think at this moment. And my experience with Blair leads me to believe maybe she's just a liar. I'm someone who is very lenient with people. I like to assume that people are just forgetful or not uh, having malintent. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Back when this thing happened and Tamimi was calling Blair White out, I was speaking with Tamimi in DMs about this and I was giving Blair White the benefit of the doubt at the time and I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced here, but maybe you're right, I don't know. But now when I look back, I, I can't help but doubt what I was thinking before because this is something that just keeps happening, happening, happening. It's a repeat pattern of behavior with Blair White. She keeps putting out these videos, lots and lots of videos, 
that are filled with misinformation because she has not done the proper research. Or if she has done the research, she has just been lazy and lied about it. And so I do think it is now important for Blair White to be held accountable for these things that she has put out there. And now please don't mistake what I'm saying. I don't think Blair White needs to be cancelled. I don't have any ill intent or ill wish towards her. I went from being a fan to just not really watching her or caring about anything she did, if I'm being quite honest. But I do think all of these things need to be considered. And I think it's important that we shed a light on people who are doing poor research, especially when you make the types of videos that Blair White makes. She's been making a lot of videos going after problematic people, people accused of heinous crimes. And how can we allow someone who is making those types of videos to get away with such poor research? That's just not acceptable. This isn't like Blair just making little family-friendly vlogs and getting some facts wrong or something in there. She's not doing gaming and getting some little bits of information wrong. She is genuinely a channel that people go to to see certain people get exposed for heinous crimes and people will also go to her for political commentary on stuff like transgender issues. The content she puts out needs to be fact-checked. The content she makes is the type of content that needs to be accurate because it's the type of content that will influence people and change their minds. Anyway folks, I think I've ranted enough on this subject. Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and check out my other links in that description down below. I'll hopefully be back with another video sometime soon.